Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions with the basics of Sony Vegas 12. First of all, go to File, then New. Then you should see a little bar saying Template. Click on the drop down. I normally select 720p, however, 1080p and up are the new standard, so take your pick here. In this case, though, I am actually going to choose the 720p 29 frames per second, which is my, you know, resolution of choice. Next up we're going to need to import some video, so what you need to do for that is go to File, then you click on Import, and then Media, and then will appear your browser window for you to select the file that you want. And when the file is in Sony Vegas 12, all you then do is drag the file onto the timeline, and that's all there is to it. So now you're ready to begin editing. What I like to do with video files in the timeline is right click on the video, press properties and then untick the maintain aspect ratio. That will get rid of any of the black bars on the right hand side that you often see on YouTube but they haven't formatted their videos correctly. It's important to note that on the bottom right hand side of Sony Vegas there are plus and minus buttons for you to zoom in and out of the timeline just to make it easier for you to edit. Sony Vegas works by video and audio tracks in a layer, so all you have to do is right click on the left hand side of the timeline and click add video or add audio track. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import some music, just some stock music I found online. And once I've done this, I can then have the music playing over the video with the original audio muted. I'm going to go ahead and mute the original sound. And now when I play the video, the music is playing on top of the video instead of the original sound. Now as I said before, videos are done on layers, so as you can see on the timeline I've moved the original video down, I'm now going to import a new video that I'm going to put on top of it, and then I can do a sort of picture in picture. It looks really professional if done right, so here we go. So now I move that video onto the top of the timeline. I can then click on track motion on the left hand side of the video, and then I can move the video's position on top of the other one. As you can see when I drag the bottom right of the window, the video on the right becomes smaller and I'm able to move it around to position it wherever I'd like for maximum effect. Sometimes you might find that videos that you import have different levels of sound and different volumes. To reduce the overall decibel level of the audio clip from the video, simply go to the audio track of that specific video, and there should be a decibel slider as seen here. Simply slide this down to reduce the overall decibel level of the audio clip. Inserting text into Sony Vegas Pro 12 is very simple. Simply go to a video track of your choice, right click and click on insert text media. Once you've done so, it may take a few seconds to load up, but then you're able to edit a text box which will then appear depending on what layer that you've chosen to include it. So for example, I would like the text to be on top of my video for this one. So I go on the top level, right click insert text media, ignore that window, text box here, delete the sample text and put in whatever text you'd like and you can then move it around in the exact same way that we just did with the picture-in-picture -picture effect. Thanks for watching, this has been Adam from Ads Productions. This has been the basics of Sony Vegas Pro. If you'd like to know how to do anything in Sony Vegas, leave a comment below and you can be assured that a video will be made describing exactly how to do what you asked for. 
Thanks again, guys. This has been Adam from Ads Productions.